Yeah. Our FYI project was on the time period of 1850 to 1870. In this video, you will see us interviewing people about this time. Period. How many times was Ben Wofford married? Two. Correct. First to Anton in 1807 and last to Marie Wofford. Um, she was 23 years younger than her and husband and inherited everything of his riches. Okay, Claire. How much money do you think was left to found the college? Um... Come on, you got this. 32000 You suck. Uh, $100,000. That's the correct answer. <laughs> okay, Gavin, what was the name of the militia company formed by students? The Grateful Eight. <laughs> no, it was the Southern Guards, and it was formed in 1860. Who do you think built the main building on campus? Uh, Mr. Main, possibly. Now it was enslaved men. I'm sorry. Who do you think were the first people to work in the president's homes at Wofford? Enslaved people. Good job! Hey, so who was the first graduate of Wofford? Um, Sam Dybald. Close enough, Sam Dibble, he got it. Samuel Dibble earned the Wofford's first bachelor degree in 1856. He was the first 10 Wofford alum to join the U.S. Congress, and he was a Democratic delegate in the 1880 National Convention. Can you name the youngest original faculty member of Wofford? Um, that, that was here first. Original. I have no idea. <laughs> it was 23 year old Charles Forster Smith. How many of Wofford's first faculty were presidents of the college? Three. Yay, okay. It was Whitman, Carlisle, and Ship, all part of the original faculty. Good cookie. Do you know who Ben Wofford is? <laughs> yeah, he was also a licensed preacher and big investor by the end of his career, and people thought he was a mean and selfish man. You get a cookie. <laughs> Who was the first Whopper student to die in the Civil War? Hale. William Maxwell Martin, a member of the class of 1857. Thank you. I'll give you a cookie anyway. Okay. How much money was endowed by Whopper trustees in the Civil War? 1.7. Close. It was at least 85,000 and seemed to be worthless Confederate bond banks and stocks. <laughs> Do you know the professor that lived in what now is the wellness center? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? It was Frank C. Woodward. In 1881, Wofford called upon him to teach French and Latin. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Can you guess the faculty member that first taught history and biblical literature? Absolutely not. <laughs> it was Archibald H. Lester, who served from 1866 to 1873. Who gave the annual address during commencement week in 1878? Oh, it's um, Samuel Dibble. Yeah, okay. Do you know when the first literary society was created on campus? No. Yeah. It was created a few months after the college opened. The first okay. literary societies were basically the first whack on campus. They organized main events, started a library, and started student publications as long as built the college portrait collection. Go. Who do you think are the individuals who have specific chores on campus and were known as the thinking man? <laughs> Enslaved men. <laughs> men were not educated, but they were very talented individuals that helped acknowledge architects and builders. They built this campus from the ground up and sought new ways to improve the architecture and building structures. And they were skilled carpenters and woodworkers. Thank you all for watching this video. Hope y'all learned something new and here are some bloopers. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Enslaved men. <laughs> Our FYI project was on the side. <laughs> okay, enslaved men were not educated, but they were to. <laughs>